Good afternoon, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are in good health. We ask that all present respect the instructions given by our ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a distance of two meters, and wearing face masks at all times within the church. So we will have to ask those not wearing face masks if you please put them on at this time. At the time, um, at the end of mass, the ushers will give directions for leaving the church. Thank you for that because that's a new rule as of the last few days. So we have to wear masks at all times in the church. Thank you. We're sitting down. Please stand.
Our gathering hymn is God Who Blessed Us New Beginnings. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. Preston and Lindsay, the church shares your joy and work and we welcomes you today together with your families and friends. We welcome especially to the rock here, uh, all the people from the West, especially from Saskatchewan and parts beyond and all those on live stream who are looking at this today and we are here in solidarity with you today. So in the presence of God our Father today you established between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. And we pray together. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these your servants, Preston and Lindsay, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through Christ our Lord. And we ask you to please be seated now as we have our liturgy of the word and we have our readings from scripture. A reading, a reading from the Song of Songs, the voice of my beloved. Look, he comes, leaping upon the mountains and bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Look, there he stands behind our wall, gazing in at the windows through the lattice. My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my fair one and come away. O oh, my dove in the cliffs of the rock, in the corner of the cliff, let me see your face and let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. My beloved is mine and I am his. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, for your love is strong as death, passion as fierce as the grave. Love's flashes are flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm is, may the Lord bless us all the days of our, our lives. May the Lord bless us all. 
the days of our lives. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Blessed every is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy and it shall go well with you. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like an olive shoot around your table. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive for greater gifts, as I will show you still more excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of human beings and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I have nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise person who built their house on rock. 
The rains fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and hit the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them would be like a fool who built a house on sand. The rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and hit the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowd were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Preston and Lindsay. Each one of us is a precious gift in the eyes of God. I'm sure your parents would say that about you too. Your precious gifts to them. Your calling, your vocation to marriage and family life is such an important gift to our church and to the world today. Each one is a special gift. One of you is a special gift of God to the other. And I always tell couples that the best wedding gift you will receive today will be the gift of your love for one another. Nothing else matters. And what does this gift of love mean on a daily basis? And St. Paul says in the second reading, it means patience and kindness. It means accepting each other and respecting each other, forgiving each other, enjoying each other as true best friends, and growing in love for each other daily. That's what it means. And you are then to be good examples of that love to the people around you, your children. And in marriage, a couple grows in that way of loving. They grow by loving one another. The first reading from the Song of Songs says, to set me like a seal on your heart. Beautiful language. A permanent reminder of the love you have for one another and the love that, that is stronger than death. As St. Paul's reading, second reading says, love never ends. The sacrament of marriage is a covenant and a sacred commitment, a promise of lifelong faithfulness and self-sacrifice, one for the other and for your family. And we are called to love like Jesus did, and he loved so much for us, so much he laid down his life for us in the greatest expression of love. So in your marriage, you are also called to lay down your lives for each other every day, to die in the ways of your own selfishness and rise in the ways of compassion, tenderness, mercy, and love for one another. In the gospel today, you said, well, that's an interesting gospel for a wedding about building our house on rock. Well, maybe it's because of Newfoundland. <laughs> maybe it's because of the rock here today. In the gospel today, that build, we see the building of marriage is like building a house. In the building of a house, the foundation has to be strong, to be deep and solid. It has to be built on rock and not on sand. And what are the rocks or precious stones on which the house of marriage needs to be built. Here are a couple. Fidelity and faithfulness. Not only, that's a very precious stone. We are talking not only about physical fidelity, but also about fidelity of heart, the heart. Trust. Without mutual trust in one another, the marriage relationship wouldn't even get off the ground in the first place. Trust holds the relationship together through the trials and tribulations and sorrows and joys that you experience. Respect. Respect for one another is the bedrock of any relationship. A couple should respect each other as they do their own bodies to love each other as they love themselves, right from Scripture. Good communication, an important stone in the building of a relationship. It enables couples to solve problems together and develop unity and oneness of heart. Very important. Faith in God, a very crucial stone. Of ourselves, we are very limited. We need God's help to love unselfishness and to sacrifice one for the other and to weather the storms of life that come to us in our lives. And last of all, love. That's the mortar that binds all the stones together. Love is not just a sentimental romantic notion. It is an action word. In the scriptures, love means doing loving things one for the other. To show compassion, to show kindness, to show love gentleness, patience towards one another. And that love extends to your neighbors as well, who are especially those in need. So just so today, just as we met, as we are here today in this beautiful cathedral, St. John the Baptist, we ask that Preston and Lindsay, you build your house, your home, your marriage on the rock of love for one another and on faith in Jesus Christ. 
During difficult times, we seek a solid foundation, a rock to hold on to, a reliable and trustworthy voice to guide us through that through, and that voice we know as Christians is Jesus. For we live in a world where married couples encounter many temptations and hear many voices that would lead them astray from their love and unity. We live in a society that builds poor foundations a lot of times. They build their foundations on materialism, on possessions, on selfishness and greed sometimes. If couples foolishly choose to be concerned only with the material part of life and fail to be anchored in your faith, the temptations of worldly pleasure, the stresses of daily living will batter them and you will fall. Building on rock means digging deep, working hard to build a family foundation of faith in God and love for one another. Work at digging deep and building a relationship together every day. So may God bless you, Preston and Lindsay, as you continue to build and strengthen your love as you journey onwards together. Amen. So we'll ask the, uh, the couple and we ask the witnesses to come forward for the vows. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with his sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you already. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I will ask you to state your intentions. Preston and Lindsay, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept love each children lovingly from God or bring them up according to the law of Christ and the church? Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, Join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church and to one another. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have already declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you, what God joins together that no one put asunder. holy water, a symbol of our baptism as well, to bless these rings. May the Lord 
Bless these rings which you will give to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. And now we will have the prayers of the faithful, the prayers for the couple. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the grace and blessings you give us every day. We make these prayers now for this couple as we pray. Please stand for the prayer. Please stand for the prayer. Thank you. The response to the prayers is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That every day of their lives, Preston and Lindsay may renew their desire to grow in love for each other and the gift they make of their very selves today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all married couples, that God will help them to grow in love for each other and the gift they make of their very selves, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, for all God's people, that through this celebration we may all grow in our desire to serve and love the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, the, the world that we live in and are called to serve, may be enlivened by the presence of God shown forth in the love of men and women, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community, for ourselves, for each other, that we may accept the challenges placed before us today and make love our way of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family members and friends of Preston and Lindsay who have gone to their rest in the peace of Christ, that they may live in the peace of Christ forever in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray now in the words that Jesus our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now we have a very special blessing, the nuptial blessing for the couple. And I'll ask all of you to raise your hands, right hand in blessing over the couple with me. Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image, and will that their union be crowned with your blessing. We humbly beseech you for these your servants who are joined together in the marriage covenant. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon this bride, Lindsay, and upon Preston, our companion for life. May the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may be known for the integrity of their conduct and be recognized as virtuous parents. In happiness may they praise you, O Lord, in sorrow may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their work. 
and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. And after a happy old age, together with the circle of friends that surrounds them, may, come, may they come to the kingdom of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll have the signing of the documents now. Please be seated. When love is found and hope comes home, sing and be glad that two are one. When love explodes and fills the sky, praise God and share our Maker's joy. When love is flown, in trust and care build both each day that love may dare to reach beyond home's warmth and light to serve and strive for truth and right when love is tried as love once change Hold still to hope that all seems strange Till ease returns and love grows wise Through listening ears and opened eyes When love is torn and trust betrayed Pray strength to love Till torments fade, till lovers keep no score of wrong, but hear through pain love cease to her song. Please stand now as we have our final blessing. May God, the Eternal Father, keep you of one heart and love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. May you be witnesses in the world to God's love and charity, so that the afflicted and the needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. May Almighty God the Father bless all of you who are gathered here today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our newly married couple, Preston and Lindsay Sire. Is that right, did I? Did I get that right? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Well, you yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll go after. 